Good day everybody and welcome back to another Amazon PPC news slash. I'm sorry this is not the big overview you've been waiting for. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this sheet to be released in this year and I can tell you it is coming. I have done the recording. I just have to get the editing done now and because it is actually my longest video so far over one hour it's just taking a little bit longer and so I am quickly interrupting that editing with a newsflash coming from the Amazon PPC scene yet again. Only a week after talking about the budgets tab, there is now also the targeting tab. So I don't know what's going on, but they're really hitting out the features one after the other these days. It is just crazy and it is a really neat feature. It is also one that I'm looking for for all of the software. Basically it is manual bulk optimization across multiple campaigns for your bids for sponsored products and sponsored display. So that is what they're offering now as well. You do not have to click into the single campaigns anymore to be able to filter for your targets with a high ACoS and decreasing the bids and things like that. And you might have already noticed they are also giving us the conversion rate. Would you believe it? So I don't know why it's taking them so long, but in this new tab, it is there. That's also amazing. You can filter by it and you can also see some other columns here, including the products columns, which is something I really like, which tells you the number of products that are being advertised in the respective ad group of that target. So really cool stuff. On the right side, you also have some quick links, some quick filter options basically to see your bottom performers as well as your top performers for either impressions, clicks and orders so far. I don't know why it's those three and maybe not the ACoS or the conversion rate, but it is a start and certainly nice to have. And at the top here, if you click on this, it will show you the targets that are not getting any impressions for the current day immediately. So that's what the table will adapt to. See, that's the current day and then impressions equals zero. So yeah, some smart filters up there for you to make use of as well. And that is already it for this one. I'm going back to the editing now and you can really look forward to a big one coming in July. All right, have a great one and stay tuned. Bye bye.